Frank Payne is an internationally recognized project management evangelist, a sought-after project management and business speaker, facilitator, executive coach, and author. He is the chairman of PQC International, a strategic global consulting firm focused on changing the world one mind at a time. My name is Frank Payne. I am chairman, president, and CEO of PQC International located in Norcross, Georgia. When I look at my role with PQC International, my role is to be a visionary with the company, pushing us in a way that we're here to serve our clients around the globe. My view and my focus is always on the strategic direction of the company. We must create jobs in order for this company to grow, create jobs that add value to our clients, create opportunities for our associates and all of our partners. That's who we are, and that's what we're here to do. When I think about PQC, I think about our communities. The communities that we work within, the communities that we serve, not just clients, but I'm a firm believer that I am where I am today because somebody helped me when I was a young child, when I was a teenager, when I was on my way to college. See, when I grew up, I didn't have a silver spoon in my mouth. I had to have other people to help me, family members, friends, and associates. So I believe that our strong point at PQC is reaching out in our community and helping others. It's all about helping others, helping others in our community, helping them to do things better and drive value in their lives and the people around them. PQC is all about reaching out in the community. We look at how we do business in the community because if we don't give back, then I think we rob in our community. Making money, but not giving back, is robbing the community. And that's not who we are. That's not what we would do. We believe in giving back and helping others to go to the next step in their lives. The culture of PQC is very unique. You can tell I'm sitting here wearing a black beret, yellow shirt, black pants, black shoes. This is our brand. This is who we are. This is our identity. This is how we differentiate ourselves. Okay, so where did it come from? I'm a former combat commander in the United States Army. Our colors in the military was black and yellow. I'm also one that believes in the philosophy and the principle of the Procter & Gamble, where I grew up from a, a young uh, engineer to a manager at Procter & Gamble. I believe in the principles at Procter & Gamble. I believe in the discipline and the structure of the military. Those two have come together to form the culture of PQC International. And that's who we are. That's how you will know. Even when we walk through the airport, you will know who we are because we stand out. Not just by the uniform we wear, but by the quality and the value we deliver to our clients. When I look back at the military, I look at the things I've learned from the military. I learned discipline. I learned structure. I learned process. I learned how to lead. I learned how to follow. All of these things shape about who I am, shape what I do in life each day, shape how I think. Because life, again, is about helping others. Either you're helping somebody in your community, in your church, in your business, with your clients. It's all about using all of these competencies to help somebody else. And that's where the value come in. Before you go to bed tonight, ask the question, how many people have I helped today? Or are you only thinking about me, myself, and I? You can't do that. Life will pass you by. If you don't add value into somebody else's life, then why are you here? What is your purpose? Why do you even exist if you're not adding value in somebody else's life? Value that they can measure, value that is saying you're doing things to change somebody's life. What's your answer? Add value. You know, when I think about life, First of all, I don't take life for granted because, you know, I, I know that the Bible says that tomorrow is not promised to you, that today is the only thing you have to depend upon. I take that principle literally. I do everything I can. When I get up out and wake up in the morning at 5 a.m., seven days a week, I look forward to each day. 
to add value to somebody's life. I remember my grandfather told me, he said, Junior, remember this, the early bird gets the worm. I didn't understand what he meant back then, but I know as I grew up as a young teenager, as a young man, that when you get up in the morning and take advantage of the time you have, because no matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, you have 24 hours in a day, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. I don't take anything for granted. I work every single day to try to add value to my life and to those around me. I don't take any of these things for granted because tomorrow is not promised to you. If you want to be in business, and I don't mean playing around, if you really want to be in business, then you need to make sure that you master whatever you're trying to do. And I mean master what you're trying to do. Don't play with it. Business means you need to know how to sell, how to run operation. You need to understand the financial side of your business. You need to understand the people side of your business. You need to just engulf yourself. You need to immerse yourself in the principles of running a business and be a true entrepreneur. It's not about how much you know about something. You have to be a master of a lot of things to be successful in business. Because you must be able to educate your staff around you so that you can delegate to them to go through things. I don't know how to do graphic design. I don't know how to do programming. I don't want to know how to do programming. But I know how graphic design and programming fits into my business to help drive the value we deliver to our clients. Again, being an entrepreneur is more than just you sitting there thinking you can make a lot of money. You'll be broke out of business if that's your philosophy. You want to be in business? Learn, learn, learn. Read, read, read. Read all the time. Find out what's going on around you. Find out what's going on in your industry. Find out what's going on in everything you do. Readers are leaders. Another quote from my grandfather. Readers are leaders. We have a motto here at PQC. We do not compensate effort. We compensate measurable results. That simply means this. There's no free ride at PQC. You must deliver measurable value. If you don't deliver measurable value, we will not pay you. Let me be crystal clear. This is not a welfare organization. You must produce value, both internally and also to our clients. You don't produce value, your lifespan at PQC will be very short. We are living in a world today where we cannot have slackers on our staff. We are moving at a very aggressive pace. We need people that's gonna add value. We do not compensate effort. You say, I tried to do this. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I tried to pay you. See, that's not a good sign for you to hear because you have a mortgage to pay. You got rent to pay. You got a car note to pay. Like a business, we have expenses to pay too. And those values that we talk about, adding value to our clients by producing measurable results at all times, then we all get compensated for the value we bring. I'm not a fan of big base salary. I'm a fan of making sure you can earn millions of dollars working at PQC. Notice what I said, earn. Not given to you in a base salary, earn. That's what it's all about at PQC. We do not compensate effort. We compensate measurable results. Keyword, measurable, measurable, measurable results.